The entire Greek-Palestinian solidarity movement, 16 organizations of political activists, the Muslim Association of Greece and main opposition party Syriza marched to the headquarters of the European Commission and the US Embassy in Athens against the deadly Israeli military operation carried out in the Gaza Strip. Syriza leader Alexis Tsipras gave Press TV an exclusive statement. Palestine is under constant siege. This monstrosity we are witnessing must stop immediately. It is imperative to join in one voice in Greece and the rest of Europe in order to stop the bombing of Gaza. I would like to emphasize that on this we are not only in league with other Europeans, but also with a considerable portion of Israelis who resist and demand a viable and long-standing solution to this geopolitical problem. A democratic state of Palestine must finally be founded along the lines of the 1967 two-state border and according to all the agreed UN treaties. Press TV is told how US and EU foreign policy favors Israel. They say two-faced diplomacy burdens the Palestinian struggle and call on both the US and EU to add the Israeli hate war crimes on their terrorist lists. Israel is refusing Gazans humanitarian aid. This shows the racist and fascist state of Israel. Palestinians must be allowed to set up home in their land and call it home, independent and democratic. Hundreds of defenseless civilians have been killed and thousands more injured in more than two weeks of Israeli strikes on the Gaza Strip. The deadly onslaught comes amid muted response from the European countries to the Israeli atrocities against Palestinians. The protesters say that while vocally declaring its opposition to the loss of innocent human life in Gaza, the EU is in fact part of the international milieu that has facilitated the development Israeli offensive, a partial stance ineffective both on the ground and in operational diplomacy. Kostantin Venizelos, Press TV, Athens.